there. So a lot of cool little things to do there uh, with that. Over here is where we have uh, the uh, button to, uh, if I want to tell the car to speak, uh, voice command, uh, you hit that button there. Uh, this is to turn on or off and then the distance for collision warning. There, and then you have your cruise on and off. And then uh, set resume. If I push up one click, I can increase my cruise by one mile an hour. If I double click it up, it will jump at five miles an hour at a time. So if you're doing 60 and you want to do 65, you just double click it up, it'll go right to 65. If you want to do 62, then you just single click it twice and it will go to 62. And then uh, for uh, your hands-free phone there. And over here, we got the volume and change uh, radio stations. And then your volume up and down. And then the volume over here, you either tap, you don't tap the, the silver bars, you tap right above them on whatever the uh, picture is. But on the volume one, what you also can do is slide your finger along the bar and that will adjust the volume up and down. And that's kind of handy. I haven't had any issues with it. Some people complain about it. I like it. It works for me. Otherwise, you just tap there. The screen, uh, you feel it vibrate. Anything you touch, uh, the haptic um, vibration, so you know that it, whatever you're touching is being effective. And the... Uh, the only thing you can kind of tell is 2014 would be the nav system uh, just the way the map looks but it works just fine um, it is a little laggy but it's not that bad it's not enough for me to say I don't like the car by no means uh, but some people do upgrade to the Apple uh, the CarPlay so they can use their Google Maps and uh, I can totally understand why so I, I get that um, but uh, that's pretty much uh, everything from the driver's seat. Oh, you do have a manual button, sorry. Tap the manual button, and then you've got your paddle shifters. Put this in sport mode, manual mode, sport mode, and uh, this thing is uh, pretty zippy and very sporty to drive. The suspension is, is uh, uh, very impressive. So, uh, uh, but I keep it in tour mode, mode excuse me, uh, because that's just, more comfortable for me. And the back seats, if you do have passengers or kids, they'll find them very comfortable. It's very roomy back here. Uh, they've got their own vent and uh, power adapter. And then this folds down with storage and cup holders and it also has the pass-through uh, from the uh, for the trunk so if there was any one complaint that uh, I'm not used to and that's on the sunroof uh, you have to hold the button down to open or close you can't just push it once and then have it open uh, you actually have to hold it down it's not a big deal but when you're not used to it, when you've always had a vehicle where you just push the button once and it opened all the way up, um, you didn't have to hold it. Uh, I did find the, that difference. But it does have this little netting mesh thing right there. And uh, that's been real nice, keeping the wind, uh, uh, the wind out of the car. So it's uh, more enjoyable having the sunroof open. So... Uh, for those of you that like to do modifications, uh, there are quite a few uh, mods out there. So you can take a uh, base uh, base CTS, whether it's a performance or a luxury model, um, and you can uh, you can get uh, different grills. Uh, you can get uh, splitters for the front end. You can get rocker panel um, to give it a little more of a sporty look different spoilers um, you can get rear diffusers uh, the only thing you can't do is anything that they make for a CTS V may not fit on a regular CTS unless you also change out like the whole bumpers or what have you so you do want to make sure that uh, what you're getting is for your specific CTS model and year and a lot of people class do dip 
a Chrome, do a Chrome delete. I kind of like the Chrome, thinking about it, but I kind of like it, but we'll see. But overall, I got to tell you, anybody's looking for a very comfortable ride, sporty, quick, with a lot of bells and whistles. I definitely recommend either uh, a CTS or even the ATS. I test, uh, test driven one of those and they are extremely sporty and quick, uh, but I wanted a little more room on the interior. So I went with the uh, CTS instead. But I definitely recommend anybody shopping for cars before you look at uh, Malibus or Impalas or anything like that, or even a BMW 3 Series, 5 Series. Audis. Uh, definitely recommend uh, taking one of these out for a test drive. I know I think uh, 2017 and up they made a couple changes on the dash area, what it looks like, but uh, overall pretty good cars. Highly recommend them.